In the last video, I showed how to combine basic Unix commands. I hope I explained it clearly, but learning something as Unix can be intimidating sometimes, and maybe I didn't use a good example. What I did is I used the ls command to list the contents of this directory, and I modified the ls command, like so, using a minus uppercase f, I piped it or forwarded the output of this ls command to the input of a new Unix command called grep, which filters patterns. Then I told grep to filter the slash pattern out of ls minus f's output, like so. And so everything returned were directories, which distinguished them from the other contents of the directory, such as Microsoft Word docs, and so on. Now, this example was a little complex and may not have been that clear. So let me use a simpler example of how to com combine Unix commands. Let's look at the command date. Date tells us the time. It says it's Saturday, July 5th at 2240, which I believe is 1040 Pacific Daylight Time 2008. And I could say, since this is July, show me a calendar of July by just typing the cal command and then I could say what is the host name or what is the name of this machine I'm working on in case I didn't know and let's say I walked up to this machine and someone was logged in it wasn't my machine and I wanted to see who was left their machine logged in and walked away I could say who am I and so on. So I issued one, two, three, four commands. Now typically a Unix admin or someone who knows Unix won't issue commands, especially basic commands like these, unless he's thinking as he's going along. He might just come in and want to issue all these commands at once and get this information returned at once. Let's go ahead and clear the screen with a clear command. And if I wanted to do that again, I s let's assume I walked into a room and saw a Unix machine logged in, no one sitting there, and I uh, wanted to get some information right away. I could say, what machine am I logged into, host name? and I follow it with a semicolon date to find out what time it is cal followed by another semicolon and let's see what that returns and let's just type a pwd at the end to see where this person was located the last time they were on this machine. So we see the first thing it returns is XP date in answer to my hostname command and then date returns this date and cal returns this calendar entry and PWD returns this working directory. So we see the most basic way to combine Unix commands is followed by semicolons. Follow each command by a semicolon. And that's it. That, that, this actually should have been the first introduction I should have given on how to combine Unix commands. So now that you know that and you've seen that we can also issue complex commands like a modified ls command 
followed by a pipe. I'm searching for a pattern. You've come quite a ways now, and know quite a few Unix commands, uh, know several ways of combining them. So I would encourage you to play around with this and get used to them, and then we'll catch up together again in the next video and learn something a little more complex and hence a little more useful in the real world.